Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast for March 2nd through the 8th. We're going to see what's happening the week ahead with this lovely deck here. And then we are going to pull a spirit message from this oracle deck here. I do want to apologize to my regular viewers. Guys, I know this is a super late video post. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I moved. And unfortunately, I'm having terrible Wi-Fi issues. But someone's coming by in the morning, so hopefully it'll be fixed soon. And we'll be back on a regular posting schedule. But without further ado, let's jump on in here and see what's coming up for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising in the week ahead. So your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Alrighty, my darlings. Monday, Tuesday. We have the Weaver of Challenges, all right? This is going to be uh, interesting energy Monday, Tuesday for some of you, okay? Uh, you may be dealing with an air sign, a feminine air sign energy. If you have air in your moon or in your rising, it could be an element of yours that's coming to the surface, or maybe you're being encouraged to adapt the qualities of the Weaver of Challenges, um, the Weaver of Challenges is not going to suffer fools kindly. Weaver of Challenges is very focused on goals, plans. They're not going to tolerate distractions. They have this laser beam focus and you're either on board or you need to get out of the way. They're not going to waste any time. Okay. Uh, some of you Virgos might be preparing to... Uh, have a conversation with a person or approach a person. It could be an employer or a supervisor you're wanting to have a talk with. It could be a family member. It could be someone that you miss, like an ex that you're wanting to reach out to again. And you're going to have to be very precise when you sit down to have this conversation. You're going to have to be clear and to the point because chances are they're not going to give you a whole lot of time to speak. And so you need to be very clear and you need to approach this in a way where you're expressing to them what is in it for them. How is it benefiting them to give you what you want? Because I'm not going to lie to you with this weaver of challenges energy they may come across as like they don't care. They might come across as kind of a little bit icy, right? It could be you, Virgo. Even though you're not an air sign, you may be kind of adapting this approach with life where you're like, look, either you're on board or get the heck out of my way, right? Some of you are cutting somebody off. You're preparing to cut somebody off because you feel like it's just, it's been draining too much. It's been taking too much. Um, it's a general reading, so the energies can be reversed. They can be coming in in different ways. But overall, when we see this card, it's definitely an energy of boundaries. Okay, boundaries are being uh, enforced in full effect. Some of you may be having a confrontation or a disagreement with a mother or mother type figure, a mother in law or the mother of your romantic partner, like an, like an in-law kind of situation. And I feel like this card is saying, um, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to go into this battle with this person. You don't want to go into this argument with this person because they, they're going to do what it takes to, to put an end to it or to have the last word. So this might not be a time to get caught up with ego or to try to prove a point or to try to prove them wrong. Uh, you know, maybe you just kind of maybe want to let it go, like just let it go and let it lay, let it lie. You know, don't try to push this. Don't try to uh, push your way, but rather be okay with, you know, going about a different path, a different way, because they might not be on board with you. Okay, for those of you that are kind of seeking approval or seeking help or seeking guidance, unfortunately, this person may not be in a position where they're going to give it to you. That doesn't mean that you can't succeed or that you can't do well or that your relationship can't thrive. It just means that in this case with this person, you might be barking up the wrong tree. That's all. Okay, your Wednesday, Thursday card, Virgo, is we have... The forest lord, okay? Uh, this could be a masculine Aries or 
uh, Scorpio energy. You may be dealing with a masculine Scorpio or Aries, regardless of they are female or male. Uh, they might have masculine energy. We all have feminine and masculine energies. This is going to be a very independent person. This is going to be somebody who is very, very experienced, like they've been through a lot, they've learned from their mistakes, and they really cherish and value their alone time. Okay, uh, this can be somebody who's coming in as a mentor. This can be somebody who's coming in who's like willing to share their experience and to help you to thrive or to grow. But overall, if it's not a person, this is going to be energy about laying down a foundation, getting organized, getting disciplined, right? And it's very interesting because the, 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 the weaver of challenges is also going to have that feeling, is also going to have that feeling of uh, discipline, staying focused. And so Virgo, you're going to have to stay on track. Okay. I feel that for some of you, you've set your sights on something and you're wanting it simply because you feel that you can't have it. It's, it's like maybe like it was on the table for a long time and now it's not on the table anymore. Now that it's not on the table anymore, now you want it. And this is saying that if you really, really, truly want it, it's going to require a lot of focus, a lot of self-discipline, a lot of commitment to get it. Okay. Now you can get it. You can succeed. You can have it, but you're going to have to stay focused and you're going to have to have a plan and you're going to have to stick to the plan right? So this is the time to ask yourself, you know, why do you want this? You know, are you willing to commit to it? You know, how are you going to go about getting it? Uh, for some of you, there could be a, a second chance, third chance, fifth chance, maybe even, um, you know, if you are approaching this in the right way, and if you're staying committed. Uh, I do feel with the Lord of the Forest here, this is also a card that is letting you know, um, that you are learning from past mistakes and you might be taking advantage of the last bit of the Mercury retrograde energy where you are reworking some old plan, something that maybe didn't work out last time, but you're learning why it didn't work out and you're, you're reforming it, you're revising it, and you're giving it another chance and there can actually be success coming in this time around. Okay, your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday card, Virgo is eight of boons okay so this is going to be hard work paying off but this is going to be more along the lines of perfecting it perfecting the plan perfecting the work perfecting your craft uh, this is skilled work will be rewarded. So a lot of you are revising something and you're coming at it again. Maybe you had asked for a raise or a promotion and you didn't get it and you're, you're going about it now with a different approach. Or if it's a business, a self-employment thing, maybe you had tried to launch something and it didn't work out. You're going back and you're thinking, okay, why didn't it work out? Where were the holes? Where were the weak links? You're reformulating it. You're revising it. You're you know, putting it together again, and you're perfecting it before you put it out there. Um, Eight of Boons also says it's okay to take your time to make sure you're getting it right. The one heads up that I see with this card, however, is that sometimes we can be so obsessed with completing this and making sure that it's perfect that we don't rest. <laughs> the candle just went out. We don't rest. We don't take breaks. And this card says that if you can stop to take breaks, then you're going to be able to do better. You're going to be able to have a higher quality of work. Don't rush yourself. Don't push yourself. Take the time that you need because discipline and focus is going to take a while. Whatever it is you've set your heart on, it's not going to be an overnight process. But with discipline and focus, you're going to succeed. Okay, let's go ahead and see what your uh, spirit message is for the week. And these card placeholders, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Okay. And again, guys, I encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks, your moon sign or rising sign may resonate more than others. Or it might bring you a little extra information. You might want a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you click on the Calendly link and schedule a private reading there. Alrighty, my dear. And love videos and channeled angel messages are going to be up in the next couple of days. So make sure you're subscribed 
so that you receive a notice when those are posted. You have realization coming in. So realization is going to have a double meaning. Okay, there's going to be realization in that you're having realization or you're realizing uh, what works, what doesn't work, what needs to be redone, what you want, what you like, what you're what you're trying to do, like, you know, just kind of coming into clarity, coming into focus. And realization can also be dreams being realized, right? Like, again, you were working on something, it wasn't happening, but now you're finding a way to make it happen. You're finding a way to make that dream real, to come into reality. Realization can also be something coming into reality, something coming into existence, right? And a lot of it is going to happen is you are realizing what didn't work. And you're like, you know what? It's not like I'm cursed. I'm not cursed. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, somebody who's not capable. Maybe I just needed to try this a different way. So you're finding hope that you're going to have some missed opportunity. You're going to have another chance to some missed opportunity uh, because you're going to approach it in a better way. You're going to approach it in a way that's going to bring success this time around. All right, my dears. So again, uh, you know, check out your moon, sun and rising sign. Feel free to schedule a private reading if you'd like to do that. Love videos, angel messages will be up soon. Don't forget to follow Amethyst Angelite on Instagram and Facebook. Every single morning, I post a message of the day there. I post a card of the day and I post a fun little pick a card game. So be sure that you're taking advantage of that as well. And uh, you're receiving those messages too. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I'm wishing you a fabulous week, Virgo. Take care.